Hello everyone and welcome back to the second West Russian War submod for TNO. Today we're currently playing as the Central Siberian Federation. Very fun, we love federations here. And right now what we're doing is helping Kazakhstan. It's descending into civil war and we have a faction here who we're rather aligned with. So we can now intervene in the Kazakh wars, aiding our friend. The current involvement is zero and they have to be at war for us to click this decision and then we'll be able to send volunteers. Maybe we'll be able to directly intervene in the conflict later. And they just got into this war, so we are going to click the decision immediately. And in seven days, we'll be able to send volunteers, and then the volunteers will take a few more days to arrive. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. After all, our divisions are only right here. We should be able to just walk into their um, capital and help them. And let's see, I think we'll just do whatever we can to help them. We'll send guns to them. We'll We'll repair their electric plant. We will share military technology. Or we don't have the political power for that, but we'll do that eventually. I guess we can send air volunteers too, might as well. We have a decision to build up air bases and then we'll be able to actually use those air volunteers. And I made a couple bad tank divisions to send. I think sending tanks may be more useful than our infantry divisions and we can send two more divisions now. So, so we might as well send these. The other unified warlord state has also sent volunteers to their chosen winner. These guys are pretty powerful and if they start capitulating everybody in the periphery, we will probably have no chance. But I don't know, maybe our tanks won't be as bad as I think they are. So this has been a confusing conflict. We've encircled them a lot and defeated a lot of their divisions, but now that it's only our friend versus the really strong faction, they are making a comeback. Okay, we got another encirclement of three divisions. I just don't think it's gonna be enough even if we keep doing this. I have no clue where all of their divisions went, but they just seem to be getting weaker, not stronger. Maybe once they finally walk into these tiles and fix the borders, they'll become more competent. And with both of these Russian factions, being communist, I think they maybe could peacefully unify. Okay, we're overrunning a lot of divisions now, so maybe things will turn around. Yeah, I think they've finally become exhausted, at least to some point, where our tanks are invincible and immediately win every battle. And hey, they won our friends. They would have completely died without us, but we'll celebrate their victory. I don't know if they're ever gonna like help us in the future or anything, or if that was all just kind of a waste of time, but we got a lot of army experience at least, and made some friends. Friendship, very powerful, and magic, and kills powerful villains all the time. Okay, and some interesting stuff that's happening now. We have the tale of two megacorps. There's a lot of megacorps in Hoi4 mods, I've realized. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Maybe we'll just increase health and influence, that's fun. Yeah, let's build ports in Australia, very fun stuff. Wow, we have such extreme amounts of debt that they improved our credit rating. That's so nice of them. Now we're making too much anti-air, like way too much anti-air. 10 factories on anti-air and we only have 21 factories. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I don't know, maybe we can put an anti-air support company in our divisions and maybe I won't feel that bad anymore about making so much anti-air. The Central Siberian Federation draws closer to America. Will they spend dollars in Novosibirsk? But now we can do the focus, the Twin Eagles, the Cross the Pacific. America enticingly beckons to us an unusual condition. We have received a response from America and they have agreed to build factories for us, but on one condition. We send our own troops to American military posts. The Americans argue that their troops need a break and we could easily provide that. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah? And this is so sad, Scotland has died to England once again. Also too, I've never noticed that trains are called steam locomotives in TNO, that's interesting. Well I guess they're still called civilian trains, they're just in the steam locomotive category. I guess that's fair, yeah. Our credit rating's improving again too, this is great, we're gonna have amazing credit in no time. We borrow so much money and pay so much interest, we're just so cool. Okay, now look at this guy, he just has a dollar bill as his 
ideology icon. The nerves on this guy. We're also preparing for war now against the all-Russian government of the Far East. We get to fight to decide who gets to be the cutest Siberia. I think we'll win. Our army is twice as big as theirs, but who knows? Maybe I'll be stupid. I'd have to be very stupid. <laughs> I have to delete all my divisions or something. We're also somehow the number four economy in the OFN or in the American sphere. We're not in the OFN. That'd be kind of funny if we were in the OFN, but no, yeah, just in the US sphere. With just this. Think of how rich we'll be when we have everything. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be kind of easy, I think. It's a good sign. We'll just pin their divisions, and then we'll go around real fast here and take your Kutsk and end this. And hey, first encirclement, pretty nice. Now we just have to <laughs> do the long march all the way over here to get their victory points out in the middle of nowhere. And while we're busy over here fighting like men, these two are just making out non-aggression packs, military access with each other. Yeah, they're going to peacefully unify and probably be quite a considerable threat when they're together. Maybe if Kazakhstan will help us though, it will balance things out. Make up for all these losses that we have to suffer fighting this. Okay, I spoke a little too soon. Things aren't going well here anymore. I got a little spicy. We're about to end our war though, which is good. They're about 80% of the way to capitulating. Once we get to these cities and these cities, they should fall. And there, that was wasn't painful at all, and with all of this spare time we have, we will build up and prepare to fight. Probably Zhukov, I would guess, but I don't know, and maybe the other guy will win. I'll just do Siberian Reunification, we're now the Siberian Federation, and I think we have a new focus tree too. And this focus tree includes an election, an election with our good friend who last time was causing some issues for our current leader, he wants to maybe make a few changes in how this federation works. I'll we'll have to see how the election goes though, and I will move my armies over here. Okay, and let's do this. We're going to start the campaign. It's going to be exciting. Alexander has the lead, but I think that we can pull ahead. We will meet with democratic activists. We have infinite political power, so I'm not even going to look at the decisions. I'm just going to do them whenever I can. And here it is, finally a change. Still the Siberian Federation. We have a new leader. We have a four-leaf clover. This is all rather nice. We only have one or two more conflicts to go. And I think we should be able to win this. I already have a very good plan. We have a ton of tanks in one tile. It almost feels like before no step back, back when you would have 10 tanks in one tile all the time. For some reason, we just have a lot of supply in this tile that doesn't even have a supply hub. And so he spoke, fellow citizens, I have not come to begin a revolution. I have come to fulfill the ideals of which we have not forgotten. But yeah, just a few more focuses and then we'll be done with this tree. A few more months and we'll be fighting once again. Okay. And it has begun. We have two main objectives first here. We want to take Omsk, then we want to take this supply hub. Let's see how easy it's gonna be. Okay, we're probably not gonna take that supply hub, but I have a good feeling about taking Omsk. Yeah, that was very easy. And now we'll try to encircle those two modern tanks of theirs, and we somehow miraculously beat their divisions, and we're going to move in. That's nice. I don't know how we did it. Okay, I've just been battle planning and not really paying attention, and I think we're already yeah, and there we go. We didn't even have to take that many victory points, it didn't seem like. We'll now reunify the motherland. The Federation unites Russia. Old war, old bones. A column of infantry marched out of Archangelisk, bearing the flag of surrender. The last soldiers of the West Russian Revolutionary Front strode toward the Federation's position with impeccable precision. More than half were wounded, missing eyes, arms, and slings, and rickety crutches did nothing to impede their proud march. And at its head, Bang the flag, could it be? Marshal Zhukov. Marshal Zhukov, we accept your surrender. That is not the end though. We need to click this button and integrate everything. Spend some of our infinite political power that we've been hoarding. I guess we could intervene in the Iranian civil war. I don't know if we really care to do that. What we really want to do though is take back Moscow. And here we go, a post-unification tree, a federation of hope. Let's go ahead and do that as we're integrating everything. Okay, this is actually a super long focus tree past this point, past 1972. So I think we're going to have to end this here. If you guys want a part three where we finish this, let me know. And if we do do that part three, I'll see you all then. <laughs>